So for our migration stub, let's start by just uncommenting this templates area here. We know that we decided to call this migration stub. So let's come over and just create this class inside of here. And we'll go ahead and just build this out as we normally would. So let's put in the namespace for this. This is pretty much enough just to demonstrate how this works. So what we're going to do now is come over and run thinks create and create users table again. And what that's going to have gone and done is create over in our database migrations folder exactly what we added to that stub. Now, the only problem with this is we're going to have duplicate class names for every stub or every migration rather that we actually create. What we want to do is dynamically replace this class name based on the class name that we give or the name that we give over here when we create our migration. Now to do this, we can kind of get a hint from the base migration class that's used within Finks by default. So if we go ahead and open up, I think it's migration template just here. This is exactly what we saw earlier. What we can do is pretty much just copy this go over to our migration stub, add this in here. And in this case, we can still have this use for the base class name because we've specified that over in our configuration. So this is our base class. What's going to happen is this is going to be the class name generated by Finks. It's going to extend that base class name that we used inside of our configuration. And we can now just move around pretty much anything we want. Now, typically for a stub like this, you would probably have uh, an up as we've already seen, and you would have a down method as well. But of course, you can add pretty much anything in here that you want. As long as it's going to help you as you're creating migrations, feel free to just add anything in here at all. So let's take a look at running the same command again, but this time with our new stub. So I've run that. If we come over here, we now have create users table, extending that base migration. So we get access to our schema builder and we have our up and down methods. So to be honest, that's pretty much as simple as it gets. You can go ahead and add anything else into here, but let's head over to the next part, check out everything. And we'll talk about creating migrations, adding columns to tables and rolling back and resetting migrations as well.